every time the word taxes comes up, you don't want to talk about it, but we're going to try to help you out right here. A little more than a month, a little less than a month, I should say, to file your taxes. But if you did already send in those returns and you don't owe anything, you should be getting your refund check anytime now. The question is, what do you do with all that cash? Because I know you want to go spend it. Do a little shopping spree, maybe plan a vacation, or maybe you're the type that can be responsible and pay off some credit card debt. Well, our next guest wants you to think before you spend it. He joins us now. Simon Blanchard is an assistant professor of marketing at Georgetown University. Good to see you this morning. He has some tips for us. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. So, uh, so we were joking. I said, you're the one that's going to make us all adult now and be responsible and not go blow all that money on a big vacation. Not all of it, right? You might be putting a little bit of money away for some small fun things, but I would definitely recommend you're responsible at first. All right. So first of all, how much do people typically get back? What's the average for a refund? Uh, an average household is about $3,000, so it's, it's not s insignificant. It's a big chunk of change. And one of the reasons why, and I'll just go ahead and say this, and you can explain the details, but Simon leans toward putting this money into either paying down debt or investment of some type. One of the reasons why you say to do that is because this is... This always has been your money. It's just been deferred a little bit. You didn't get it when you got your paycheck. Yeah, sometimes we feel like it's a windfall, but it's really not, right? If you think about it, $3,000 over 12 months, that's about 250 bucks you should have been having probably the entire time, right? So now you get it all in one place, and the temptation is there to just spend, spend, spend. What should we be doing? Well, I would argue first that if you got any kind of interest-carrying credit card that you pay that off first, because those the rates have been going up. They're going to go up higher very much in the future. They're not going down. Um, and so I would say that you start along with that, that pay your credit cards that are carrying any form of balance. So uh, most of us have several credit cards. And if you have several credit cards that are going and you, and you owe money on both of them, what's uh, better to pay off? The one that has the bigger balance on it or the one that has the higher percentage of interest or does it not matter? Yeah, most of the time the interest rates are pretty similar. So I would argue that to the extent that the credit cards are similar interest rate, that you actually take most of your tax refund or any payment you're going to make and apply it to the credit card that has the lowest balance remaining. And the psychology behind that is that if you apply a large payment to a small account, you're cutting off a big chunk of that that you have left. And that makes you feel a lot of progress. And when you feel like you're making progress, you get motivated. When you're motivated, you do smart things. It's a good way for us to jump off on this point right now because you mentioned psychology and you also study the psychology of money. What is that? Well, it's studying how to help people make better decisions with their money, which is part, as you mentioned, trying to find ways of helping people not to spend that tax refund on just you know, blowing it up on vacation or a new smartphone. So typically it's the frustration of money because most people don't have the money <laughs> and we're sitting there and we're trying to figure out why we can't pay down our debt. Yeah. Um, what is it that makes us psychologically then feel better about it, whether we're somebody who has no financial worries or we're paycheck to paycheck and in debt? Yeah, um, well, one of the things that, that pe makes people feel good about it is not just spending on themselves but also spending on others. And so one of the things that you can do is when you get that paycheck back, You've been very responsible. You've applied that to your credit card debt if you got any or you invested it. Uh, but one thing that you can do is try to buy yourself little experiences at your favorite restaurant just a little bit instead of the whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, and then eventually apply that to not only yourself but also people that you love. And so money is really helpful at that. What about uh, charitable causes? Is this the type of thing we should do with a tax refund? That's a great idea. I mean, one of the things that you can use that money for is to not just, you know, um, pay down your taxes, uh, pay down your credit cards, or pay down, um, you know, or invest for the first time, but also try to find ways of donating to people that you care about. Uh, let's talk about some other ways that we can save, and we're seeing some of them here on the screen. Contributing to your uh, college plan, perhaps, maybe prepaying for insurances where we can get the discount. These are all ways that we can save now and save later, right? Yeah, it's a great time to spend money on things that will save you money, right? So it could be things like buying energy-efficient light bulb, putting money away for that when your washer dryer goes out, that you buy one that is energy efficient, that saves you more money in the future. So that's a really good way of doing that. And is it true with uh, the utilities, et cetera, we can pay a couple of months in advance or insurances, pay in advance, yeah. save, the, save the money there? Yeah, if, if car insurance that you're paying month to month, most often there's a built-in fee for you to be, to be paying month to month. And so one thing you can do is, you know, prepay it in full. You're going to pay for that anyway. Put your refund out there, save a little money, then you have more to spend on yourself. Okay, if we are going to spend a little bit on ourselves at least, how much should we spend, say out of that $3,000, how much would you spend on yourself? I would argue as much as you're comfortable, but I would say keep, treat yourself at least for a couple good meals. All right, so a couple good meals and then maybe leave it there. But you're saying don't go, uh, don't go book the beach house and spend all the money and have nothing left. That's right. All right, well, it's responsible adulting. I guess we could do it. Yeah, but you'd feel better in the end. Well, hopefully we feel better in the end. You always feel better when you're at the beach, though, uh, especially this true. time of year. <laughs> Simon, thank you for joining us this morning. I will send it back over to you guys. Wisdom. Does the Corvette count as a small purchase? It depends.
Of course. <laughs> how, about, uh, how about if he rented a Corvette for a day? Yeah, okay, all right. Cor